When your new Skag Zero Turn mower is delivered to you, it's going to come with cap plugs located on the caster wheel pivots, and you're going to have to replace that with a Zerk fitting at least once a year or every 500 hours to grease the kingpin. Let's take a look at that. Mine happen to be seven millimeter. Zerk looks to be a quarter by 20 thread. When I was down to the GIE Expo, that's the Green Industry Expo in Louisville, Kentucky. It's held every October. I got a good chance to talk to some knowledgeable people that work for Skag, and I asked them, why do these ship with plugs in them and not grease zerk? He went on to explain that if they have grease zerk and guys grease them every day, here's what happens. That's exactly what he said would happen. The cap pops off. And in the course of the daily mowing, the cap will fall off, it gets lost in the job, and it remains just like this. Then over the course of the next several days or week, you get some rain down in that bearing, and then before you know it, it all locks up, just like it's been welded. Okay, let's take a look at the manual, and this is on a cheetah. You can see number one on the caster wheel pivot, uh, a lot of us just call this a kingpin. They've got the triangle there for num with a number one on it, and you come up here. And it is specified chassis grease, 500 hours or yearly. So we come over here, the instructions further specify caster wheel pivot, 500 hours or yearly, chassis grease, number of places, two, two kingpins. Here's the procedure. They want you to remove the grease cap, give the part number of it, that's pretty nice of them. Then remove the plug and install a greaser. Apply grease to the fitting until new grease appears at the top of the caster extension. So let's go out and take a look at that and see what it looks like as it comes up through where the bearing, or that could be a bushing, I'm not sure really if that's a bearing or a bushing, and then you reinstall the grease cap back. And they want you to use a special tool, and gives a part number of that tool, which is recommended for use when you reinstall the grease cap. That's the cap on front that sits right on top of the kingpin. Let's go take a look at that now. Okay, we'll try this according to SCAG procedure. Just tap up on it like this with a small screwdriver, very carefully, get the cap off. Now let's grease it and see what it looks like as the grease comes up. You can see it coming right on up through there. It feels like a tight clearance in there. I'm not sure if it's a bushing or a bearing at this point, but it feels like there's not a lot of excessive clearance in here for the grease to migrate to. It feels to me like every bit of grease I'm pumping is coming up through almost 360 degrees of this circle. Then what you would do is kind of clear it off. Reinsert the cap. When you go back with the cap, be careful. Don't use a metal hammer and just beat that to death. You can see it's got a slight convex in it. Convex, I guess, depending on which way you look at it. And we use our brand new $6 Harbor Freight plastic rubber hammer. You want to go with the rubber end. And that's it. For a good close fit. I'm going to show you just how to remove that one with the screwdriver. Okay, let's see how this goes. We'll use the plastic end, the hard plastic end of the new $6 hammer. This screwdriver is kind of damaged. It's kind of, you can see it. It's kind of been pried a lot, so it's got a bend in it. Let's just see how. Pretty easy. We kind of work even around it. Oh, that's still got some old grease in it. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and just clean this out. And this is what Skag wants you to do every year. To clean that out, put you in some fresh grease and get it right up here visible at the top. That way you know you got your good fresh grease in there doing its job. Well, one thing, I have not been doing this according to procedure. You should remove the cap. You just saw it's got the old grease in it to get the new grease to work up through there. That old grease, if that cap does not pop up out, the old grease obviously has nowhere to go. It never comes out of the bottom. I would love to see what kind of a seal or retaining cup that Skag uses 
whoever engineered this caster pivot, this kingpin, to keep the grease contained all up in there. That would be interesting. So let's do it the way they want you to do it. And there we come. It's as simple as that. I'll go a little bit more. And then I'll take my finger and clean that out, and we'll call that good to go. But I am going to leave my Zerks in it, because I'm the only one that greases this machine. And if you're running any kind of a commercial business, a commercial application with your mowers, and if you've got different people grease them every day, you probably don't want to leave them Zerks in place. Because what's going to happen is exactly what SCAG engineers have predicted to happen. The caps will be lost. Water will migrate down there through just through condensation overnight, or rain, dirt and sand, and you're going to end up locking this up. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section, and I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot. Work safe out there.